You mentioned before uh, five business owner fundamentals of a life insurance agent. I'd like to get in those and, and share those with the audience. Sure, sure, yeah. So it's kind of this thing I've been helping um, agents in the business, and you know specifically telesales. I'm a you know I'm a telesales guy, yeah. and you know, and, and we touched on it before. Is is we are really with buying leads. We are business owners. Um, mm -hmm. And the great thing about our business is the cost of doing business is only the leads and a few nominal subscriptions for a CRM or whatever, right? Yeah. But agency to start viewing their agency as an actual business. And most mm. agents don't have the business um, education or experience. And so that's kind of what, what I'm kind of teaching agents. So they can kind of get a, another lens on some of the things that people are saying. So, you know, you know, what, one of the five, fundamentals that I talk about is increasing average order value. You go to any business school, you go to any e-commerce or any, any other type of business, everybody's talking about increasing average order value. We don't use those terms in life insurance, but that's really, um, you know, we, we replace those terms and what we, you know, what you can do is obviously upselling, you know, adding writers or yeah. whatever, adding other products or cross selling with Medicare, DI, critical illness, um, anything like that, going for the double spouse sales, child sales, all that increases order value. Something that nobody ever talks about is a downsell. Like nobody's talking about downsells, <laughs> right? But if, if you're an internet marketer, you know what I'm talking about, Cody, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So when somebody tells you no, right? When yeah. they, you know, online, if, if you go online and you go through somebody's funnel and, you know, you don't buy the product, you're in the checkout thing, they're going to try and sell you something else a little bit cheaper or something else that's, you know, it might be a, you know, a, a lead into the product that they want to sell you, but you know, agents can downsell too. If someone says no, offer them an alternative product, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. After, I mean, after a full presentation, when someone says no, most agents give up right then and there, they might try to overcome some object objections. You know, by then you should know why it's a no, you know, is it affordability? Is it trust? Is it the wrong product? You know, the more savvy veteran agents know that this is a time to downsell and talk yep. about something that they might have hit on in the fact finding process. So, you know, it's funny. Way. It's funny. You mentioned that because what I thought of and why I was actually laughing at the same time was I started at, uh, at mutual of Omaha. I was 18 as an intern and I was calling at a, I don't, not a, actually out of the phone book, but it, you know, it was cold calls. So mm -hmm. pretty much, uh, they were just, I hope they were scrubbed, but I was doing it for a veteran agent because I was an intern. I was learning. And, he would have me, the script was horrible, but it was like, hello, uh, do, you, do you have uh, life insurance? You know, or would you, like, would you like a quote for life insurance? No. Well, are you on Medicare? No. Uh, well, would you like a quote for an annuity? No. Well, how about disability? And it's just like, it was just like the worst downsell ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, I mean but, but really though, after a full presentation, yes. and, you, and you still get a no, I mean, yeah, there was probably something wrong with your presentation, yeah. That you you know your intuition didn't take you to where um, the the prospect wanted to go, but you can downsell and you can talk about something else that might be in more interesting to them. So that's what I mean by that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is which is gosh, it's it's funny. I mean, it just is hilarious. Uh, so so was that some of the things we were talking about? Um, was leads training sales process, or were the fundamentals totally different? So, I mean, the fundamentals that, that what I just said was, you know, increase average order value. That's fundamental number one, you know, and it's just really getting those cross sells, those upsells, those um, down sells down. I mean, that, that, that's a big part of what mm. business owners do and what you're taught in, in business school, um, what you're taught in really any inter internet marketing course um, to do that and just putting it in life insurance agent terms. You know, yeah, it's, that's really what it is for us. And, um, you know, it's, it's just one of the fundamentals that a lot of business owners go through. And it's just another, like I said, another, lens, another way to look at these things that everybody's talking about and cross selling on everything. You're increasing your average order value and that's how you become more profitable as a business owner. Absolutely. No, I, I love that. I love that. That's good. Uh, what's number two? So I got five. Um, I'm not sure if we'll get through all of them, but I'm, I'm down to keep going. Uh, number two, lift conversions. So, mm. I mean, Cody, you're, you're probably doing this all day, every day. Um, 
you know, just looking at everything, how can you lift conversions? Every business owner is looking for a way to lift conversions, meaning more sales yeah. per marketing dollar spent. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many ways to do this. If you're generating your own That's leads good. online and you know, that comes in the form of ad copy, targeting, landing page, conversion optimization. You know, I understand most agents yeah. don't do this, but it's one factor every agent generating leads is working on, you know, yeah. for agents that aren't, they're just selling great. Um, the biggest thing you can do is follow a proven telesales process, get out of your comfort zone and adopt what the high volume agents are saying. Um, that's conversion. You're going to sell more of the people you talk to, that's um, good. get, you know, get more policies you write to place and force. Another, another thing, field underwriting, you know, don't always sell the cheapest, sell the most convenient. A lot of people don't want the cheapest. They just want to get something done. You know? Totally. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, that brings up a good point. So, so, so you, you you've, I always think of you as, um, you know, sell term, term life.com modern life insurance selling podcast. I always think of you as like, you know, historically always selling a lot of term insurance over the phone. Right. So, yep. um, what would you, what would you say to someone that would say, well, should I sell fully underwritten or should I sell simplified issue? Uh, I would say present both and, um, lean your sales process towards simplified issue. So let them make the choice. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. It, it, Cause I, I, I used to sell, uh, well, I guess I still do every once in a while, but fully underwritten, uh, term over the phone mm -hmm. and, or at least in person. And I just hated the speed and the underwriting and it drove me nuts. It, it, yeah. It's not fun. Um, yeah, it's not fun unless you have a big pipeline and it takes a while. And, uh, we, you know, it, it's a falling off point for agents who want to sell over the phone is because they always go for the cheapest, which is yeah. the fully underwritten product, which takes six to eight weeks to get approved and paid or, you know, and then they're already out of money <laughs> before they yeah. get that commission. Yeah. So, you know, if, if you position it correctly in a sales process, mm -hmm. most will lean towards simplified issue mm -hmm. and you know, Hey, let's get this done today. You know, we can always cancel this and go with something cheaper later on. Um, you know, and it's, it's, if you position it correctly, you'll, you'll get more than half of your sales will be simplified issue. Wow. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. C Cause yeah, from an outsider looking in, I was always curious what you were doing, you know, and, and I didn't know that. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Most of our term agents, um, are positioning simplified issue where, where they can, obviously there's limits on yeah. coverage amounts and everything, but when they can, they're positioning a simplified issue and the market's getting you know better with accelerated underwriting up to a million dollars, even more in some carriers under certain conditions. It's, um, yep. it's only going to get easier convenience wise for those term agents. Why is that? Are, are comp companies just noticing that, that agents are like, have, you know, fed up with it or no, I just think it's technology catching up. That's, okay. that, that's really all it is. Yeah. Good. Good. That's awesome. Well, on, on the technology note, any, uh, any thoughts from you on uh, anything that is, you know, coming down the pike? You know, I super random, but yeah, I mean, I went to InsureTech a couple months ago in Vegas. Saw um, that. Yeah, it's, it's an incredible conference. Um, it's, it's not huge. really for, yeah, it's not really for H. There's 7,000 people there. Um, it's unreal. You know, it, it's not really an agent conference, but um, I don't really see any technology in the life insurance space affecting independent agents in the near future. Good. Good. Yeah. I think, um, I think agencies and agents just need to just build better process, build their own tech or, or whatnot. Um, I just don't see it. Good. I just don't see it happening. I mean, the, the only thing that you can say is threatening is those buy online products, you know, the, yep. the ethoses of the world and the stow and all them, but, well, you They're, just had a buddy that sold, sold one, right? Something similar. Yeah. Um, what, what are you referring to? Well, I don't know if we're, we're okay to talk about it. It was, uh, it was well, I guess so. You, you shared it in your group and, and online. Uh, I forget the guy's name. They, they sell med, they were selling Medicare and final expense. And you know, so there was like their, some of their site was automated driving a lot of inbound calls and you know, okay. Was, yeah. So yeah, this is, this is, um, public. So, uh, assurance, yes. uh, assurance.com was recently acquired by Prudential for 2 billion guaranteed, but 3.2 billion with, um, you know, earnouts and everything that they're projected to hit. And, um, and this guy 
figured a couple things out just from his specific knowledge that he gained over the past decade of selling over the phone. Um, and he put it into tech. He, he, uh, he just has this really intuitive system. I mean, it's amazing. And, uh, I mean, a lot of people have heard of assurance. I mean, they yeah, advertise yeah. everywhere for agents and a lot of people yes. might have a bad taste in the mouth about it. I know agents doing really well. I know agents that burned out. Um, mm -hmm. it's just one of those things. I think it's the effort you put into it. Uh, That's with anything though. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I, I think it's a fine system and, uh, you know, it's, uh, but yeah, I mean, That's but cool. that wasn't really disruptive at all. You know, that was, I don't think that would affect independent agents at all. And so, no, no. yeah, it's, it's nothing we can use. It's nothing we can, um, nothing we should feel threatened from or anything like that. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. In honor of Halloween, we want to do Egypt's three E's today to help you make more sales consistently, constantly, and every single day. I want 2021 to be the best year you've ever had. And I'm guessing you do too. And if that's true, I'd love to hear about it in comments below.